Previously, our characters moved at a consistent speed over any tile type they could walk on. In the real world, and most likely in our game, we'll want game characters to move at a different speed depending on the surface they're walking on. The PNG we're using for the tiles and sprites, as well as the complete source code and a written version of this tutorial, are all available on my website. First, we'll create a new floor type, Grass, and change the Grass Tile Types entry to this floor type. We will next be replacing the character Delay Move property, which was previously the time it took the character to move one tile in milliseconds, with an associative list of entries for each tile type the character can move on. For each floor type in the list, we specify the time it will take the character to move one tile on that floor type. Now, updating the character process movement method. After we've checked the character is moving, we'll set a variable move speed, the character's delay move value for the floor type of the tile the character is moving from. We'll now replace every subsequent instance of delay move in this function with the move speed variable. Finally, we'll simplify testing if the character can move over a tile in the can move to method. Instead of testing against all of the traversable tile types individually, We'll just test if the tile floor type at the specified position is in our character's delay move list. If not, the character cannot move on the specified tile, so we'll return false. These simple changes add some depth to character movement on our tarmac. A hard surface might let the player move quickly, whilst we can make sand or snow a difficult surface to traverse. 